Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got the Android N Nougat Preview number 4 for the Xperia Z3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, let's get started. Now, first thing which I want to talk about is that uh, this is called the Android Nougat, which is uh, again keeping up with Google's uh, naming philosophy of uh, having a suite. Uh, it is a suite name which, well, I'm not familiar with, but you can sure search Google and get uh, what that thing is. It's apparently something made of honey and uh, stuff like that. So. Anyhow, uh, this is the Android version 7.0, so that is a really, really nice move forward. Uh, the latest one right now for normal people are 6.0.1, which is Android Marsh Marshmallow, so that is really nice. This is going to be Android 7, so that is one full uh, integer upgrade, so that does give you guys a rough idea that that's going to be a big move. So, yeah, let's get started now. First of all, what you would see here is the lock screen. Now... The lock screen is uh, the new uh, Nogad lock screen, so, but still this is uh, similar to what you would have seen in a Marshmallow ROM, so nothing special, nothing fancy there, uh, camera, microphone, and uh, you have swipe up for unlock, so yeah. Now this one, this is the uh, Nogad launcher, which is basically the normal launcher, which is Google Now launcher, so you do have that. I haven't installed the uh, Google search application, but if you have installed it, the uh, swipe to the left would give you Google Now pages, so just for your information now. Let's go to the settings and uh, show you guys what all we have. Uh, first of all, in the settings menu, in the about phone page, you can see that this is actually Android N, Nougat, so you do have that, and uh, that is a pretty cool stuff. I'm not entirely sure what that was, uh, namey Macnam Facey, I don't know, so that is the easter egg which you get in Nougat, so at least for now, maybe there will be a game uh, next time, so yeah. Now as you can see, this the build number on this one is right now as um, NPD56N, uh, that means uh, N preview for developers 5656 whatever uh, this is the fourth preview released for the Xperia Z3 so I'm really happy about that there have been a few rumors about this which I'll talk about later so uh, let's just not be a sour puss at the start of the video so yeah now let's get started first of all let's get into the extra settings now first of all there are a lot of stuff in here which are new uh, let me just uh, go uh, with the new stuff which is in Nogad. Now first of all, redesign. Everything is redesigned but it still maintains the material UI which is all colorful and uh, flat styled which I personally like a lot. Uh, I kind of uh, do like the flat material designs which are available with uh, which was started in Lollipop so I do like that and it is still available so I'm glad about that. Um, other stuff is that uh, notification area is has seen a lot of improvement and I really really appreciate what what they have done with the notification stuff. Now I have actually given uh, two uh, messages onto this phone so uh, so show you, to show you guys how the notification handle. Now these are WhatsApp messages. Now same what same messages from the same application are bundled together so uh, that is really really nice uh, apart from having a uh, whatsapp message from one person another person third person fourth person it will all be bundled right now like this as a in under a common heading called whatsapp and you can swipe right to see from at what time you have received that and that is amazing and you can also swipe to show to dismiss them so that is really really cool i really appreciate that now um the notification uh, styles have also been improved as you just saw. Uh, it is more minimal than uh, what was previously available and I really appreciate that. And now on to the other stuff. Uh, in the notification shade, this one has a few toggles which are available here. So uh, I, I kind of like that. This is, I, I kind of have this reminded, reminding me back to the S3 days where there were quick settings on top and you can ex uh, expand them for more options. So that is really nice to have. Uh, it is still 
material design so it is clean and uh, non cluttering so that is really nice you do have more space for your notification rather than anything else apart from what they did what Samsung did with the S5 and S6 I mean that was horrendous uh, what was whatever uh, let's go to the quick setting panel now in the panel stuff you do have all the panels here and you do have an edit option to change whatever stuff appears here so that is really nice to have you do have all of these enabled now these I have, I have disabled that you can just drag it onto here and it will be enabled again now you can actually have all of them enabled but how nogat handles these uh, extra stuff is not by expanding the quick setting panel downwards they they handle it by creating a new page for you so you do have a swipe option to go to the next page and uh, enable stuff like this so that is really nice to have i mean this is kind of a throwback which i get from uh, miui style quick settings where you had a page to go back and forth between different quick quick setting uh, panels so that is there so nice to have now another thing which i really appreciate in this uh, uh in the new newer version of android is uh quick win uh, is multi window because multi window samsung guys figured that out ages ago and i still don't know why it has taken so much time to come into uh stock android experience so here you go there is multi window right now so i will be showing you guys how the multi window works i'm just opening a few applications right now so let's see you have three applications open up right now and also one more thing uh clear all button does make a comeback uh as in a real clear all button which is stock so that is something really nice but uh, you do have to swipe all the way up for that uh so yeah now how to use the multi window you just press and uh, press and hold on something which you want to keep in split screen you just take it up to one area and you have the multi window available and do the same uh, do click whatever you want from the recent panel on to other ones and you will have this working so yeah this is really pretty nice to have i i really appreciate this it really works uh, and you do have the slider to increase or decrease whatever you want i with my samsung device what i used to do is keep something like a uh, movie playing on here and they have whatsapp here uh it was made obsolete by the hollow floating uh stuff which was available with other custom roms but this is really nice to see in uh nice to see in a stock rom because android is now evolving into something which the all the customers want to have so that's really nice to see you can also you can now close it by using by expanding it all the way and you can close that so the multi window is turned off then it also comes with a something called quick switch which uh, i really appreciate i really use this in a lot of my other applications i mean a lot of in my uh, custom roms it's nothing new but it is really refreshing to see this uh, in a uh, stock configuration in a stock rom where you don't have to do anything i mean you don't have to root you don't have to uh, have a custom bootloader custom rom or anything like that okay what it essentially is is that i have two applications enabled right now i'll go to phone and i'll go to messages now uh now the previous application is phone i can just double tap this uh, recent button and go to phone seamlessly that is what quick switch is about and i really really appreciate that that is something which i have been wanting i i i always use that whenever i'm using a custom rom but with stock roms it's not really available you do have to use something like a expos module which requires root so this is a really really good way to ensure that you do still have that functionality included in stock so yeah pretty nice to have Now something else which is available in the Android N is the uh, Project Dose and Swelte which has been uh, improved. Now Project Dose is what I was uh, what was available with I guess Marshmallow. It was released on to Marshmallow and uh, it actually uh, saves your battery life when the phone is stable and not being used screen is off and the phone is stable. Uh, it has been improved in functionality. They are learning from whatever was there and it is improved now. Um particularly on this rom the battery life is not very good but this is a developer's preview so i am not going to be too hard on that but still uh, just so you guys know swelte is basically something to uh, save your battery when you switch from uh, network to network as in you are traveling and your um, real data is selecting a different tower to get a better range from now during that time it search for a better tower at the time it drains a bit of battery so uh swelted doesn't require you to search for a new 
tower at various intervals so that is something there and you can read about it in google just now let's get into the settings menu in settings there are a lot of stuff now settings also has this kind of a uh, google card style of uh, approach here uh, as you can see in the first page you can see suggestions so you do have a suggestion to sh uh, lock your uh, device so put uh, put pin put password or put a pattern so you do have that option here on the first page uh, if you don't want that uh, i don't see any way to remove that so yeah uh, it also shows you that the cellular data is off just for you know just so you know and there is a cross on the uh, Signal bar there. Let's get to the stuff now. Uh, first of all Wi-Fi settings is nothing nothing special It's normal Bluetooth normal data usage now data usage is there and it is really nice to have uh, You can also enable the restriction on Wi-Fi setting Wi-Fi stuff Which is kind of a feature I really like in Windows 10 so you do have that which is like mirrored connection So that's really nice to have it does have NFC Android beam all of these are working right now that's that's the biggest uh, surprise for me. NFC was found working, camera was working, flashlight is working, real data is working, I can make phone calls, I'm getting, I'm able to browse the internet on cellular data, so all that is working, so that is pretty pretty awesome. In the display stuff, in the display stuff you do have brightness level which is normal, adaptive brightness ena enabled right now, so it actually senses the brightness of your surroundings and adjusts the screen brightness according to what is required. Double tap to wake is available. Now font size, font size is something which I really appreciate but right now this has a uh, different uh, interface which is pretty nice to have, I really like that. Now this is something which I really really like, I normally whenever I uh, flash a custom ROM I straight away go and uh, change the uh, change the display size or the PPI count to something which is more manageable for me. I really like something like 408. 408 is like my go-to PPI setting. But in Android N, you do have an option to change it to small. And that is really, really amazing. I mean, I really like it. This is the large option. And you do have the small option, which is really nice. I really like more real estate on my device. So you do have that in build. And I don't think I will be using any uh, PPI setting for normal usage here. So that is really nice to see. And also this is uh, seamless, you don't have to restart your device or restart the system UI. Amazing stuff, I really appreciate that. In the notification setting, settings, you do have uh, all the, uh, you can select notification, block all, silent, overdo, all that is available here, you can do that. Now battery life, as I've said, battery life on this developer preview was not a very uh, promising one, but hey, that I can understand because it is a developer's preview, nothing special. So you do have a few problems with the, uh, battery right now battery saver you do have battery saver you can enable that and everything turns orange i'm not sure why you could have given a option to turn off the colors at least because yeah that's enough of a rant right now now rest everything is what you would expect from anything else so let's get to the developers options and show you guys it does have a web view implementation selector it has a multi-process web view option so you do have that and debugging is available as any other developer preview should so pretty nice i guess that much is it in the settings menu so about the stability of the rom uh i've had a lot of restart issues with this rom because it was restarting a lot, I mean a lot. It has restarted, I mean, four or five times within a half of day, half a day, and then it was stable for quite the rest of the day. I'm not sure why, but uh, it does restart at certain times, which is really unpredictable. So uh, just a heads up for you guys. Now, I would normally run a and to do benchmark here but i'm going to show you guys the benchmark score rather than run the full benchmark because i'm kind of short out of time you can see this uh, the score was about 57000 that's more or less the same i've run it like three or four times uh 57056 is the normal score which i'm receiving and that means it's Okay, I mean, it's not the world shattering 60,000 which you get in other ROMs, but still, 57,000 is still respectable, and I re really do seem uh, it really is really nice to have that much. So, yeah. Now the camera settings the camera does work, so that is, I think, a very huge uh, deal for me at least because the camera is usually the first thing which does not work in a custom ROM or a new ROM. So, uh, camera works. And you can pretty much use it as a daily driver, but stability issues do creep up, and you, which may uh, 
uh, not allow you to use it as a daily driver so uh, pick your poison you can actually have a marshmallow or this one and uh, well yeah you can have that rest everything is pretty much the same uh, across the board let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty nice so here is the boot animation for uh, Android <laughs> in preview for Xperia and it's nothing uh, you would expect out of a Google ROM. It's always Xperia because it is provided by Sony. So yeah. So I guess that much is it about Android N. Um, a lot of improvements. I really really like this and a uh, few news which I'm hearing is that Z3 may not see a final version of Android N because there was someone saying that on the Reddit thread the developer uh, some developers said that the developer preview 4 would be the final version for Z3 which is kind of sad and um, yeah it is really really sad I would have really liked to have the final experience on the Z3 because Z3 does feel like a very very capable phone with that so yeah in any way um, I really still hope that we are going to get a final version of Android N on the Z3 so that we can enjoy all the benefits of the new version. So, yeah. So, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe, and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.